guys, Stephanie Garrett here. In today's video, we're gonna be making a wire wrapped French hair barrette. I'm gonna show you the supplies you're gonna need and a couple of fun, cute little ways that you can make some nice French hair barrettes. You can make them for yourself, make them for your friends, um, you can make them for sale. So if you are interested in trying you know, something new, this will be a great fun project to try. Now, I actually made this one in the past, and this is something similar to what we're gonna be making today. These are shell beads with the marble home accent with the gold wire. So, and that's on a French hair clip, as you can see, very nice, right? Also made this one, which is the uh, marble tile, um, you know, home accents for my, I use these in my unconventional alligator clip video as well. So you can check that out if you wanna see that. And I wire wrap that, and that's kind of unique. Probably can't just find that anywhere. It's a good way to make some hair clips, right? And then this is my favorite. This is the blue shell. These are blue shell beads, by the way, with the silver accented wire. And look how pretty that is. You can kind of mix and match things and, you know, the different sizes and everything. And it came out really nice, right? So in this video, we're going to do something similar. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to do it. And I actually went ahead and strung these beads ahead of time, these little African beads. Now, they don't look very expensive, but I think by the time that you're done and you wire wrap it, it can look, you know, kind of exotic, like you had a nice vacation and you traveled somewhere <laughs> and maybe you saw some cute little hair clips, you know, um, and they were very inexpensive and I just thought it had a cute little African pattern. So maybe, you know, took a nice trip somewhere and saw something cool and you got it. And we're going to be making this little fun little one. This is a uh, black agate and uh, turquoise howlet beads. These are beads. And you can just put them on the wire and I'll show you how to do that as well. And I went ahead and started on a, a the one we're going to make. I started on this one already because, you know, it takes a while to to get this going because you have to let this dry. So, but we'll get into that in just a second, okay? So, let's go ahead and get started with our project. You are going to need your French hair clips, which are these, okay? And that's... Now this is a genuine French hair clip. You see on there, I think it says made in France. I don't know if it might be upside down, but you can probably see that. These are the real hair clips because this middle part, you can't remove it, okay? These are the genuine French hair clips. Very cute, and they come in different sizes. This is a two and, two and a half inch size, I believe. This one, this one I had to actually buy by itself. It's, uh, it was hand-picked by itself. And some of them come in bags too. Now this is the big the biggie. That one's three, a little over three inches. And this is an American hair clip because see how you can take that part out? Yeah, that's the difference. The real French hair clips, you can't take the middle part out. The American hair clips, you can take the part out. <laughs> so that's the difference and we'll put this back together. So those are just a few of the different hair clips you're gonna need. You can use either one, it's fine. But if you want something a little authentic, then you go with the French hair clips. And you usually find these at bead stores. Um, I've never seen these at craft stores. That's not to say they don't sell them. I've just never seen them there. But if you go to an actual bead store where they sell beads and findings and things like that, you can probably find that there. Okay. And you're going to need your ribbon, which I have here. I have, I'm using black and brown ribbon today. And I got these at the craft store. They're like two bucks a piece or something like that. Or you can get ribbon pretty much anywhere. I like the size of this ribbon because all I had to do was cut it. I didn't have to, you know, trim it down or anything. It fits right on top of the V perfectly. So I like that. And I have them in several different colors. And you're going to need your wire, your accent wire. I got these. This is a gold to go wire. And this is the artistic wire. It's artistic, artistic wire <laughs> that they uh, have. You can get this at the craft store. And this is in the dark silver and this is the gold. And then... Um, this is the silver, the lighter silver. Very nice. And I like to working with this wire because it's fairly easy. Some of the wires you get it way too stiff or too flimsy. And this is, seems just perfect for a lot of different projects. So you can get that at, uh, you know, your local craft store. And you're going to need your E600 glue. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Turn it around so you can see it. <laughs> and your crafting shears, of course which are always handy, and your wire cutters, which are these. So that's what you're going to need for your project, and it's going to be fun, so let's go ahead and get started.
ahead and stick your wire through the hole here and you pull it through and you essentially just start wrapping it kind of like that and you can just wrap it around and just tuck the wire in the back okay tuck that in the back see that that's cool and I actually cut some shorter pieces but I probably should just left it long but even if you do that's fine just sort of uh, go around again and tuck it in the back if you want you can crisscross you can do a number of different things with the wire on your beads here you can do something like that just kind of roll it around in between the beads if you want you can even add another color wire too so so far that's what it looks like right see that how cute that is I'm going to use this particular piece of wire I know my stuff is falling over <laughs> gotta get organized okay uh oh I dropped my wire and uh, just kind of start where you left off and you can do something like that you know you like say you can crisscross it you may double it up you can just make it kind of fancy and make it your own if you like I thought it looks kind of cool and you just tuck the wire kind of like that can't see that see how it looks in the back very cool and you can either you can probably even glue that down if you want but then once you stick your little clip in here just stick your little piece in here for the American French hair clip you can just put it back in there and you're essentially done right yeah you're done with that that's the big one and that's very cute look at that pretty looks expensive right wow with the beads very nice there's a nice little weight to it too and um, you can always just tuck your wire if it's you know coming out you can pull it tighter as well and put another color on here you can do a lot of different things oh yeah you're trying to make sure your clip is kind of stuck in stuck in there so it won't come off okay that's that cool very nice and you pretty much do the same thing with this one as well just wrap it and you can go over or under the hair clip and that's it you're done like I said this these beads weren't very expensive but it still looks exotic and nice and looks like you know you traveled someplace really cool and found a nice hair accessory so even some gold would look really nice too like this color gold you can do silver and gold I mean why not right so and then this one this particular one with the flat beads you're gonna have to let it dry you have to do it in stages you have to do the ribbon first let it dry and then do the flat beads and let that dry and then you're gonna have to wire wrap it that's gonna be the wire wrapping is gonna be your third and last step and you just do a same, essentially the same thing with them with this one as you would with this one okay it's not much difference the beads are flat and you can kind of go over them a little better but that's it see how that's kind of not behaving itself <laughs> for the purpose of my good video here um, but yeah that's it essentially so it's gonna look uh, like this when it's done let's see that's just two different ones here yeah kind of similar just different colors that's pretty much how it's gonna look just to get an idea okay and then there here let's just see the back of this one and that looks really nice wire wrapped in the back and it doubled up on some of the wires as well all right very cool very nice they came out really cute right very cute love gorgeous french wire wrap hair clips hmm, they're falling over <laughs> there you have it okay our hair clips are done and i'm modeling them for you <laughs> That's our nice little exotic um, African beaded wire wrapped French hair clip. Very cute. Look how cute that is. It turned out really nice, right? Get my bangs right for you. Very cute. It's just nice to have a nice little hair clip, you know, handy in your purse for a windblown moment. Like I always like to say, and this is the uh, mosaic um, shell and marble hair clip wire wrapped French hair barrette. That looks nice too, right? Came out really cute. Can you see that? Cute. Yeah. So they came out really nice. And I think this one is nice too. It's just really kind of, it's kind of big. 
so I would put this in the back of your head if you're going to do it, if you're going to make the really big ones, like, you know, for a ponytail or something like that. That would be nice. And it looks, you know, expensive and nice and exotic, you know, very nice. So I'm very happy with the way everything turned out. That's the one I made before. I think I showed you that one. I showed you that one earlier. But yeah, so they all are really nice. So I'm modeling them for you. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'll catch you next time. Ciao.